All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode on What the Sheet. And in today's episode, I'm going to show you how I design stuff on SketchUp. And this is SketchUp Make uh, 2017 version, which is free, um, which you can download for free. And I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to download this. And what we're going to make today is a bird feeder. And this is super simple. It's basically two different cuts of wood here. And um, I'll kind of show you how I made this. So that's what our end goal is gonna be. But starting off, um, I'm not gonna go over all like the tips and tricks on how to use SketchUp. But I'm just gonna kind of show you how quick and easy it is to use it and um, kind of um, what you can make with it. So we're just gonna start off by making a rectangle. That's gonna be seven and a half by seven and a half. And you can see the the numbers I'm typing in that will go in the bottom right where it says dimensions. And I have this set up in inches, so any number that I type in, it just automatically knows it's inches. So I'll do seven and a half by seven and a half, I hit enter. It gives me a square, and then we're gonna pull the face of this object here. And I'm gonna type in 0.75 or three quarters of an inch. And then we're gonna make this a component, and that just means that this is its own kind of special item and then i want to copy that so i'm going to hit the control key and that brings up the little um well the first i'm going to hit move and that brings up the little arrows and then hitting control adds a little plus in the bottom corner and that allows you to copy um, items so now that we got that um that this is going to be our base and then to build the sides what we're going to do is we'll come over here and then we'll go back to building a rectangle and we'll find the middle point. Come over to this middle point and in the bottom right you'll see that it says seven and a half again. I'll click there to lock in that, that point and we'll come up and then I'm gonna do comma 10. So that gives me a 10 inch height and that'll lock that in. And then we're gonna push this in towards the center and once again, make that three quarters of an inch thick. And then we're gonna come up here to the top and we're gonna draw a line down the middle and that'll split this in half. And then we'll come over here to this edge and then we'll lock it on the vertical axis. And then as I'm, now that I've kind of locked it in the vertical axis, this will only go in that direction. And since I moved it down, I'm gonna type in 3.5 to move it down three and a half inches. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. 3.5. All right, so now that we got our side done, we'll do the same thing. We'll make that its own individual piece. And then we'll rotate around so you can kind of see the profile. And then like I did before, we'll go to move, hit control to copy, and then we'll just drag it straight across and lock it and place it on the edge over here. And so now we got our, our base and our two sides. And then I'm gonna select this square and then I'm gonna hit shift click that square, move, copy. And that's gonna basically copy the base right up to the top. And then we're gonna hit Q to rotate. And then we'll rotate this one down. And for some reason, this is all crooked, I think. Maybe it just looks crooked. All right, and there, that's it. So it's not super complicated. And yes, I know that this side's shorter than the other side, but um, I just want it so that the top actually has a peak because it's going to be outside for birds and I don't want um, any water kind of collecting in the center there and I don't want to do a mitered peak um, just because I want to keep it simple for construction purposes. So the only other thing that I would have to do uh, to complete this project is add the plastic or the acrylic glass for the sides so you can see how much bird feeds left in there. And then I also bought um, an eighth inch steel rod 
that'll go through the middle here and then I'll bend over to hang on the tree. And the other reason I made this kind of super simple construction is for the base, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do probably two pocket holes to hold the two base pieces together. And then I'll just screw probably four, four screws, two on each side from the bottom up into the sides here. And then the top will be kind of similar. It will be two screws across here to hold those two pieces. And then maybe um, one screw or two screws on one side just to hold the top down a little bit. Because you gotta remember at the end of the day, uh, when the bird feed come is low, I wanna have a, a relatively simple process of taking this down, taking the top off to put more feed in there. But I also don't want it to be loose because I don't want the top to come flopping off or anything like that, or some squirrel to knock it off. So we'll, we'll just put a couple screws on the top just to hold it down. And then um, for the sides here, for the actual plexiglass or the acrylic uh, glass that I got, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut in a router groove on each side here, but I'm gonna make sure I stop probably about a half inch or so above the bottom. That way the bird feed will feed out. And then the rest of this will just be an, a nice little platform for the birds to land on. And then um, that should be pretty much all. So the, the plexiglass or the acrylic will just slide in on each on the grooves. So I don't have to do anything fancy for that. I could also just cut it and then screw it to the face here. But I think um, having it slid in on a little mitered groove will work a little bit better. Um, what else? Oh, and then the lumber that I bought for this is a pressure treated cedar tone. So it's already has um, a treatment for it for being outside and it has a, a pretty dark stain. Um, but I also bought a clear, I think it's a enamel or a deck stain finish that's waterproof. So once I get this all relatively assembled, or put together so the the base and the sides together and the top or the roof piece connected i'm going to take that that exterior stain spray and i'll spray a coat of it over everything at least the exterior pieces the what i mean by that is the the parts of it that'll be exposed to like the water and everything like that just to help this um this last a little bit longer than a normal bird feeder Granted, it's probably a little bit overkill, but at the end of the day, it's still one less maintenance thing that I have to worry about every year. And then once that's all done, um, the steel rod, I'll, I'll measure the center point on the roof and on the base, and then I'll drill that hole, which should be about an eighth of an inch wide all the way through. And then I got a four foot steel rod, so that'll come through and then I can just hand bend it the bottom over and that'll hold the base and then the top will go up and then I'll make a, a hook on it and then that'll rest on the tree. But that's gonna be it for this part of the video. I'm um, just kind of showing you how quick and easy it is to use SketchUp. And like I said, I'll throw a link for this uh, in the description and then I'll do I'll show you what the actual bird feeder looks like once it's all finished and hung up and filled with bird feed and everything like that. But if you have any questions or if you want me to do a more detailed video on SketchUp and like how I actually make stuff and use some of the extent or the extension that I have to get cut lists and all that stuff, um, just let me know down in the comments and I can I can get that sent up to you guys for another project. But that's all I got for today, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, so got the the bird feeder all done up. Um, I had to replace the clear glass or acrylic sides with plywood just because I was having issues trying to get it cut to the right size and getting it to fit right. So I just found some scrap quarter inch or eighth inch plywood, I think, is what this is, and just put it in there instead. And it works the same. The only difference is I'll just have to keep an eye on this, like when I'm mowing the lawn and stuff like that, to make sure it's got a seed in it. But as you can see, 
I filled it up already. The bird seed's coming out like I want. And I'm actually using a mix of this. It's called Perfect Balance with Peanuts, Songbird Selection. Um, this is good for woodpeckers, chickadees, grosbecks, titmice, and juncos. Um, and then also the wild finch mix. And it's basically, I just mix two bags into a five gallon bucket, stir it up with my hands and um, just put it in there like that. Um, so I got steel rod coming through and for the bend here, what I did earlier to get the bend in it, I just used the crook of my arm. So I just laid it over my arm and bent it. It's, it's not that hard to bend this stuff. It's, it's pretty light metal, so it's pretty easy to bend. And then all I'm going to do is take my stepladder and go out in the front yard here, and then I'll just hang this up. And then I'll get some pictures of this hung up, and then hopefully um, some birds will start landing on it here soon because the birds are out chirping away this morning, even after a little bit of rain. So that'll conclude today's video. And like I said before, if you have any questions about uh, SketchUp and want me to do a, a more in-depth video on SketchUp and kind of how I use it and um, kind of go over all the little tricks that I use when I'm making stuff. Or if you want um, me to make some other projects for the, you know, bird, like a birdhouse or a different bird feeder or something like that, just let me know in the comments and I will set it up. But that's all I got for you guys today. Um, come back I think next week I will have the blanket chest done I'm waiting on some parts for that um, and then I have some other projects also lined up so stick to stay tuned I got some more stuff lined up for us and I'll see you in the next video peace out